Hi, everyone. I am going to introduce our project, which is called YABES, a system to support building a workload registry with automated quality control. First, I would like to thank all our collaborators and the communities for their help to move this project forward. I am going to introduce the background of this project and then explain the system design. After my talk, Hiro will give a demonstration of the system. Let's start with the situation around workflow sharing. In the context of open data and open science, we believe sharing resources help science. However, as many of us are aware, just uploading the research materials do not. From our experience, there are many issues with reusing the computational workloads. For example, the issue of missing license, workload language syntax errors, missing dependent materials, examples, or tests. To address the issues, communities work on building a principle of workload sharing. The fair workload is one of them, and they give interesting suggestions for several aspects. It is good to have such guidelines. However, our question is, who should take care of published workloads? In the case of the workload have, they ask submitters to fill the metadata as the workload becomes fair, so the quality of the workload is up to the submitters. In the case of an F core, a workload registry for next flow, they ask submitters to join the community and the community takes the responsibilities for workloads. Interestingly, they say that they do not accept the tailor-made pipelines. This is understandable because maintaining workload needs specific knowledge of the contents of the workload. So, as we saw from these two examples, there is a trade-off between the reliability and diversity of workloads in a registry. If we ask submitters to maintain the workloads, it brings higher diversity of content, but no guarantee for their reliability. If the registry takes care of the contents, the contents will be better reliable, but comes with a scalability issue. Regarding the situation, we want to emphasize that minor workloads matter. There are many workloads for specific purposes. In other words, those expecting a smaller number of users. Those resources are critical to them, but often have a smaller number of contributors. So how can we make and keep these resources truly reusable? Our solution is to lower the cost of workload maintenance by our system. We believe workloads are best maintained by their developers but they often lack the resources to do. Therefore, we build a system for them to support building their own registry to share workloads reliably. This system, called Yabis, has unique char characteristics. We define the Yabis metadata specification, which assists developers to satisfy the requirement of fair workloads. The system performs automatic validation and testing of workloads through our CLI client and GitHub actions. The system is fully based on GitHub and Xenodo, which requires users no dedicated computing resources. For the system development, we defined a set of requirements that are automatically validated and tested. It has three perspectives, availability, validity, and traceability of workloads with more specific and testable requirements. Here is the overview of the system that let developers satisfy the requirement. The process of publishing workloads with Yabis has three steps. 
submission, review, and publication. These yellow boxes are actions automatically done by our CLI client. Metadata template generation, metadata validation, running tests, and uploading contents to Xenodo for persistence are performed by the client. This system is specifically powerful and critical for an individual or a community that wants to share well closed but without the expertise and computational resources. The system also generates a tool registry service protocol, which is uh, abbreviated to TRS, defined by the GA4GH Cloud Workstream, which helps this distributed registries model. We also developed a workflow browser for the registry built with Yabis, which helps users to find and use workloads efficiently. Now, Hero presents a demonstration of the system. Please enjoy. From here, we will demonstrate the Yabis system. The approximate demonstration procedure follows the Yabis getting started document. Please refer to that document as well. First, we will prepare a GitHub repository as the initial setup. This repository accepts workflows as pull requests, validates and tests workflows with GitHub Actions, and distributes workflow metadata and GA4 GHTRS API. We provided a template for the repository. So, please use this template to create a new repository. After that, we need to do a simple configuration of GitHub pages and Zenodo token. Once the repository is created and configured, the TRS API will be distributed via GitHub pages. Next, we will deploy Yavis Web, a web application for browsing workflows. Again, we start with a fork of the repository. After forking, we use GitHub Actions to build and deploy Yavis Web. Select the Deploy Web Action. Then, enter information such as the TRS endpoints for the workflow registry we just created. This deploy web action automatically builds Yavis web and deploys it on GitHub pages. This is the deployed Yavis web, but it does not contain any workflows at this time. Up to this point, this is the initial setup to be done by the registry maintainer. From here, we will follow the actual workflow registration procedure using the command line tool Yavis CLI. We have divided the workflow registration procedure into three processes, submission, review, and publication. The yellow boxes in this figure are done by Yavis CLI. Also, the green boxes are done on GitHub Actions. As a first step, we will do the submission process in our local computer environment. As an example of a submitted workflow, we will use a simple CWL workflow. Execute the Yavis CLI make template command with the workflow URL as input. This will generate a file called the Yavis metadata file, which is a collection of workflow metadata. Examples of metadata included in the Yavis metadata file are version, open source license, author information, workflow and its dependency files, test cases, etc. The Yavis CLI automatically collects this information and generates a template using the GitHub API. Here is an example of a Yavis metadata file edited from a template. In this demo, we use the PAC CWL as an example workflow, so there are no dependent files. We have also added a test case. This test case is described in a format that is actually executed by GA4GH Workflow Execution Service. After editing the Yavis metadata file, use the Yavis CLI validate command to check the file for correct schema. Next, we will test the workflow by actually running the workflow using GA4GHWS. If no GA4GHWS endpoint is specified, Yavis CLI will automatically launch Sapporo WES on the Docker engine and run the test. Initially, the WES container is not running. When the Yavis CLI test command is executed, Yavis CLI launches the Sapporo WES container. Then, the Sapporo OS container launches the CWL tool container. And, the CWL tool container launches the FastQC and Trimomatic containers. 
these containers are the actual workflow steps and execute the actual processes. If the WES execution is completed, YVIS CLI considers the test is done successfully. Finally, we will submit the workflow as a GitHub pull request using the YVIS CLI pull request command. Here, the YVIS CLI performs validation and testing before submitting the pull request. This restriction reduces the burden on the registry maintainer because the portability and reusability of the workflow can be ensured during the submission process rather than the review process. So far, this is the submission process performed by the workflow submitter. From here, we will look the review and publication processes performed by the registry maintainer. The review process takes place on the pull request UI of the workflow registry we just created. The submitted workflow is registered as a pull request. In this pull request, the workflow is automatically validated and tested again on GitHub Actions. In this GitHub Actions script, the Yavis CLI test command is executed as well. The registry maintainer checks these results and then merges the pull request. Once the pull request is merged, GitHub Actions will automatically run as part of the publication process. In this GitHub Actions script, the Yavis CLI publication command is executed. Within this command, all workflow-related files are uploaded to Zenodo, a DOI is obtained from Zenodo, a TRS response is generated using the file URL persisted by Zenodo, and the workflow metadata and TRS response are deployed to GitHub pages. That's all for the workflow submission procedure. Now, let's check the actually submitted workflow. First, here is the result of the request to the TRS API. Next, we browse the results using Yavis Web. The description of the workflow is rendered. We can check the workflow file and its dependency files. In addition, we can check the test results and test cases. Let's also check the files uploaded to Zenodo. Uploaded files to Zenodo are the Yavis metadata file, which is a collection of workflow metadata, workflow description file, workflow file and its its dependency files, and test cases. From the above, the Yavis system automates various procedures to build and deploy the workflow registry, to submit workflows, and to publish them. This concludes the demonstration of the Yavis system.